So, bye bye, Mega Bread Fun. So today I'm going to be using my Navigo Easy, uh, which is a first for me because I've had it for a few months. I've not used it before. And um, we have a local bus service uh, from our village, so I'm going to take that for the first time too because I think that's been in in service or started in um, 2020. No, 2020. I think it was. It was uh, just before the pandemic, I think. So I've never used it. So this bus will take me to um, a place called Wabria near Every, and then after that I'm off to Massey to pick up a TGV. Uh, hopefully with my filming more will become evident to you. So I'm off now, I'm going to go and get the bus. Well, you have to excuse the noise in the background because it seems they're doing some road works in the in the village. Use my finger as well. So the one that uh, I'm interested in is nine. Oh, it's covered over. I can't see. Nine twenty-two. So it's nine seventeen on my app. So let's see if it turns up on time. So as I've got a little bit of a wait, I thought I'd just uh, go for the map. So. I'm starting down here at Fontalivi Comte and then the route takes a very circuitous route around a place called Mensi which is our nearest town um, and it serves the RER station for Paris which I don't want to take because I don't want to go into Paris because of the Olympics um, and then basically it heads up this massive hill quite ferocious Z-bends um, that's Côte de Montagy then it goes to a place called Lys, it's a small village which is basically a suburb now of Paris, more of a suburb than where we are here. And then I will get off at the stop just before the station in Evry at Boisbriard and then the tram is, I don't know, about 5-10 minutes walk away from that and then that goes up to, up to Massey. There we've arrived at Bois uh, so now the plan of action is to cross over this road, thank you for the down for stopping, and then uh, we'll head to the tram, which is about five to min ten minutes walk away I think, not to get run over, not a lot of traffic actually, quite surprising. So uh, yeah, while it's quiet, I'm going to have a little waffle. So 5-10 minutes walk, hopefully taking the 10.30 tram, uh, which will get me into uh, Massey just a tad early, but then I can have my lunch and 
and think about where I need to go because Massey is a bit of a confusing place when it comes to the TGV. So it's an underground station for the for that, above ground station for everything else. And uh, the problem is, is the train I'm getting, the TGV, is coming from Paris. So I have to be standing in the right place on the platform to be able to get on the right carriage, uh, which is fun. And I've always got confused by the, the screens and things. So, yeah, um, and the other snag is, is that we're going to find out now, is I don't know exactly what ticket we can use for the tram. Because with the Olympics, um, I'm going to have to go easy. The only ticket that you can use is a day ticket. Uh, otherwise, it's normal, bog standard, what are called T-plus tickets, which are tickets used for um, buses mainly. Uh, buses in the, in the suburbs and everything in the centre of Paris, so metro, tram, bus and so on. But I'm in the suburbs, so that means that uh, the T-plus... Uh, ticket for some reason it's not allowed, allowed to be used on the tram which would have been very convenient so I think I just said the Olympics has messed things up so you can't use a, get a day ticket if you have to go easy either so that leaves what's called a destination to destination ticket and that's a paper ticket and they're phasing paper tickets out so I don't know where we stand at the moment so we'll soon find out when I get to the tram stop so the tram stop is over there a lot shorter walk than I thought it was going to be about five minutes if that so I've got to cross over these two roads and then I'll be there well, I guess I've missed that one so I'll get the next one the next one's at 10.30 so it should be okay so there's my destination to destination ticket though we can see that or not it's a bit blurred but basically from here to Massey so we've got the machine over here you buy a ticket and they sell destination to destination tickets still on, on paper and then you have to go over here to validate it and the place is deserted it's incredible i saw one person over there and they started to get up when i crossed over the, the train tracks tram tracks and i thought ah mm, i'll use my my uh, credit card to go and buy a ticket and i sort of thought i hope they're not following me so I thought I'd take the opportunity of uh, looking at the map. Um, so every Corcoran is the main town around here in, the, in our region. So I'm on the stop at Barbia. So all of that to do, all those stops, all the way down to Massy Palizzo. I should take about 40 minutes, just as long as the bus has taken me to get from, uh, from Fondé de Vicomte. And I nearly forgot to validate my ticket because I was waffling too much on, on here to you and forgot that I was just going to show you the, the validator and I couldn't whether I put a ticket in or not that could have been a bit nasty if I got caught on the, the tram with a non-valid ticket
So I've arrived at Angle End, um, Madden and B's come to pick me up and uh, I'll see you at my final destination. So that's Angolan. Hello and welcome to Brand Tom, uh, where I've been for around a week, uh, in fact exactly a week because I arrived last Monday and today is Monday. I arrived in Angoulême at about 2.30 in the afternoon and so I arrived in Brand Tom around an hour after that, about 3.30 time, uh, via a little visit to Carrefour Market to pick up a copy of my magazine Charge Utile, which is well worth getting if you're in France to look at the pictures of trucks and buses and things like that it's really it's really quite good so what i wanted to touch on is basically the methods of actually getting here really um because i mentioned in the in the footage that uh, i used a navigo easy uh, so a navigo easy is a, a contactless card uh, that you can use to store your travel tickets on the normal Navigo cards, you have a photo on it, you have a date, you can you can take a monthly one, yearly one, etc, etc. So you, you basically got to pay out up front quite a lot of money to to get unlimited travel. And the Navigo Easy isn't really that, depending on what ticket you're using. But for me it was attractive because uh, you can store what's called a carne uh, ticket book. Uh, so they sell tickets at 10 at a time. In the old days you'd have 10 paper tickets but now you have 10 tickets on your Navigo and uh, the main snag was that these tickets are useful on the local buses where we are out in the Banlieu in the suburbs and um, not really useful for using on the suburban trains the RER trains and so on and the trams so it seems uh, as I found out so my thinking was I could use these standard tickets which are called T plus tickets to use the bus to go from home to the tram and then another ticket to use a um, bit of refreshment to use on the tram to go from uh, Barbria up to Massey but this is not possible and it's not possible because the T plus tickets aren't valid on the tram and the only way you can travel on the tram using a Navigo is to get a day ticket which is about eight euros. The problem, the problem with that was that um, because of the Olympics they'd abolish the day ticket until September until after the Olympics. I think you can get a Paris visit ticket which is okay if you're going into Paris and you want to spend the day there but I wasn't doing that. So 
I couldn't use my Navigate Easy on the tram at all, really. Um, so in the end, I had to buy a destination and destination ticket, which is when you put in where you're leaving from and where you're going to. Now, considering the day ticket is eight euros something and the destination ticket is six euros, it's not particularly cheap. Added to which, because of the Olympics, uh, all of the tickets have gone up in price. They've near enough doubled. Um, so instead of me buying 10 T plus tickets for about, I think it was um, 17 euros uh, something, 17 euros 35, I think, can't remember exactly what it was. Uh, I paid about 34 euros. That wasn't ideal. I should have bought these 10 tickets before they put the prices up, but I didn't figure they were putting the prices up. So that was the leg from home to the TGV and the problems that I encountered. And in the end, the actual journey was quite smooth. So, my thoughts about the TGV. Um, hmm. Well, the TGVs are very, very good because they're quick. Uh, I mean, I went from the Paris region, or the Paris um, suburbs, inner suburbs, down to Angoulême in an hour and a half. And that's bonkers because in a car, uh, I think it takes probably on the auto route, well, thinking about Madame MB when she takes the car, it varies depending on where you stop and all this sort of thing but you're looking at a good four or five hours with that comes a price first of all it's not cheap uh, I paid about 150 euros return um, it was packed I mean really packed it's double decker trains uh, I don't think I've ever been on the top deck before but it's, it's noticeably uncomfortable because you're thrown about a lot more I don't know whether it's through the centre of gravity or something, but you're sitting there and you feel like you're flying from side to side in your seat, which isn't very big anyway, and uh, that's not particularly uh, uh, nice. So before I took the TGV, as I was going over the bridge, which goes over the railway lines at uh, Massey, uh, I got an SMS telling me um, from WeGo, which is a company that runs the that leg of the TGV, so WeGo and you've got Inui, which are two different companies, um, I'm going back on Inui, um, but they sent me a message saying the air condition wasn't air conditioning wasn't working, uh, which I thought oh brilliant because it was already sort of over 30 degrees, uh, and I was getting a little bit hot, you know. Um, so I managed to find the waiting area for the TGV in uh, the very small Massey TGV station, and just sat there, had a little bit to eat, and waited. And thinking, oh, I'll save my drinks until I get on the train. But at the same time, the Nord train was leaving, and uh, I think the Nord train was ten minutes before. Um, so it was a bit of a, a bit of a mess because you got two different destinations on the same platform, and the screens telling you where you need to stand on the platform uh, was side by side. And I nearly looked at the wrong one. I nearly looked at the Nord train, which is a lot. It's a shorter train, so the um, carriage I was getting on, which was number one, was actually towards the steps. It was actually right at the other end of the platform, so I had quite a, a long walk all the way up to uh, the zone where I needed to wait for my um, my carriage. The thing I don't I didn't really like was on the ticket um, in very small lettering. It told you it was upstairs, and you could have missed that. Uh, so over the tannoy on the train, they tell you we're just approaching Angoulême, blah, 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 blah. And so I thought, well, I'll get up and get downstairs to, to the entrance, uh, to the exit, sorry, of the carriage. But at the same time, halfway down the, the carriage, there was a bloke, uh, a, a WeGo employee, collecting rubbish. And when they collect rubbish on French trains, they usually have just a big clear bin bag and people throw things into the into the bag so I, this bag was massive i mean it was i mean the aisles are very narrow but it was like filling the aisles and it was struggling to push it through and i had to get past him because the other way in in this particular carriage there's no door it's just a wall uh, so i had to go out there's only one way i could go out basically and i thought well this 
some people sitting at a table, but there was, you know, it was a seat free. So I thought, I'll move into the space between the seat and the table. And in doing so, I knocked their games uh, on the table flying. But just so I could let this bloke through with this big bin liner. And he managed to squeeze himself through, just. I managed to squeeze myself past him. The person at the table gave me a really, really nasty look because I disturbed their game. So I managed to get to, to the exit without any problem. But I just thought, why, why start to collect rubbish uh, when you know you're approaching a station? Just forward thinking uh, on the part of the company. Whether it's going to be calm when I go back or not, I don't know because I've timed it so that I get the 20 past 5 bus from Barbary Yard back to home. So I might touch the brush hour. We'll have to see. Anyway, with that, uh, I just wanted to give you a quick mention to my Buy Me A Coffee site. If you would like to see some exclusive behind-the-scenes content, it's basically me waffling. Hello, I've got a camera person with me today. I've got Emma behind the camera. Hello, Ooh. Emma. Uh, then please uh, go along. You can make a small donation so that you can view this content. If you've got any ideas for things I could add to the Buy Me A Coffee site, then let me know anything you'd like to see. If you join up, then I'd be really happy to hear from you. So I think I'll leave it there, because even though I've got a hat on, uh, the sun is actually getting to the back of my head. And I think I'll sit over there where it's a bit shadier. So take care of yourselves. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the video. Bye.